already mentioned that the official budget committee is an, uh, an action taken by the town meeting under RSA 3214. Uh, advisory committees are allowed, uh, but since you don't have an advisory committee, you probably don't need to spend a lot of time on that issue. Now, the duties of the budget committee are review the current year's expenditures, review, review proposals of the governing body in terms of expenditures, prepare the budget, schedule and hold the budget hearings, and forward the final proposed budget to the governing body for posting at the warrant. Mm -hmm. It's the budget committee's budget. Yes. In terms of budget preparation, it is also the, the law that all municipal officers, administrative officials, uh, department heads uh, prepare statements of estimated expenditures, and uh, they also statement of revenues for the ensuing year. Uh, that is part of what all the officials should be doing. And these have to be submitted in such times and such details the governing body may require. Now, there is uh, department heads and other officers uh, also have an obligation to, to mit, submit their departmental statements uh, and expenditures and receipts to the budget committee if requested. That's RSA Chapter 32, colon 16. Um, so there is a mechanism where the budget committee can ask for this information. But I think you're, you're, you probably have a little bit different situation uh, when you're dealing with a, a town that has a town manager form of government. Because when you have a town manager form of government, um, rather than the select board sitting on top of all these departments, and it's a little bit unwieldy for the departments to decide how they submit their information to the select board, and especially if there's a budget committee asking for information, you might be getting the departments asking for information to be submitted directly to the budget committee or to the, or to the select board. However, when you have a town manager, clearly under RSA 37, the town manager is the, the chief of all the departments. So in terms of this process where the budget committee has a need for information for a particular department, I think it's probably wise with a town manager form of government respect the hierarchy because all the people who work under the town manager are hired and fired by the town manager. So they have some degree of responsibility to file, to follow the, the, uh, the lines of authority. They, the information flows up to the department heads, goes to the town manager, and then uh, that would be something which could be, as I've suggested here, a conduit tr transmitting information to the budget committee. Now, certainly it's true that um, a budget committee might be involved in uh, evaluating the expenditure side of a town's budget. So currently, right now, that's the process you typically would be in, because you don't really get into the process of building a budget until after it's put together by the town manager and the select board proposes it to you. In my town, typically that would happen sometime in October, November, and then we'd start budget hearings in December and complete them by the end of January, certainly for an SB2 town. Um, so I, in terms of now, you've got this period of time from you know May until probably September when the budget process really gets started. Certainly it makes sense for a budget committee to be looking at, well, what's, what's the expenditure side of the operations? Mm -hmm. What's going on? And you may have a need to collect information, but I think in terms of your situation with a town manager, it should probably be go through the conduit of the town manager, you have a budget information request, I think that should always come from the budget committee as a whole, not individuals who have a particular interest in something. It should flow through to the town manager and come back to the budget committee. So you can monitor what you think is going on in terms of the expenditure side.